The Chumar Village wants the Guam Regional Transit Authority's bus transit location next to the establishment gone. That's the message that a number of riders and vendors shared at Monday's GRTA board meeting. Public transit rider Jay Borden says she's been threatened with knives by alcoholics around this area and feels unsafe waiting for the buses. I'm here today to ask for help, for protection of all the riders while they're waiting for the bus. Because a lot of time the uh, grumpers or alcoholic people come over to where we, while we're waiting for the bus. Chamorro Village Manager Jeff St. Nicholas also feels the same way. He says he's seen an increase in violence and loitering. They're scaring customers. They're scaring even uh, staff or you know the workers from even wanting to to open and, and run their business. Um, also, what tends to happen too, I guess, uh, particular particularly close to the station is, uh, I don't think your station, your your bus station, is big enough. Take, for example, Tropical Living owner Leo Cirillo's situation. She says she fears for the safety of her employees and customers. I'd like for you guys to know that just within the last two years, it's just impossible there. We would come in in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, they would be, they'd already be drunk. And then they would ask my staff for money. And, you know, for the most part, what we used to do is we'd give them, you know, somebody asked for food, we'd give them. Problem is, once we stop giving, they start getting really violent. They would urinate right in front of our store. In fact, many of the vendors have noticed the people that seem to be causing trouble are from the Federated States of Micronesia. Philomore Alcon already spoke with the lieutenant governor about the safety concerns. He notes the only time there is peace and quiet is when the transit is closed during annual Liberation Month preparations. That's the reason why we're here, to appeal to you guys that you need to get mass transit out of Tomorrow Village because we are business owners. Our business is in jeopardy because of all the loitering, all the alcohol consumption. I have seen drug deals going down in Tamor Village, and that's what mass transit is being used for. Other issues of overcrowding were raised on Blue Line. One patron says bus drivers had to turn away people, and he's requesting to bring back the express line so people can get to work on time. Interim Executive Manager Felix Dunka states the overcrowding in Chamorro Village safety concerns are news to him because no one has brought it to his attention. I have no reason to, to doubt that they, they, did not, that they did not occur. I, I'm just baffled as to why we were never, nobody brought to our attention that I'm aware of. Yeah. Department of Parks and Recreation Director Peter Cavill says the bus transit could be relocated to the proposed Aganya Central Park area and they could use a slither of property across from the Aganya Pole. But everything is still preliminary. Again, this is really down the line that, that we were thinking about it. But uh, when they started talking about uh, relocating the bus transit, I, I, I said, well, you know, we'll try and speed this request up to open up the road. So I've already sent a letter to DPW to request that they take a good look at the reopening that road. And, and perhaps we can, uh, we can look at this uh, slither of government property that can be uh, utilized for a bus transit.